What's up, y'all? It is your girl, Sarah from Sarah Styles here. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing. It is a complete mystery box. Uh, one of my followers, subscribers reached out to me and said, hey, I have way too much inventory. Can I send you a mystery box? And I was like, sure, let's do it. So stay tuned to see what I got. All right, friends, so let's get into it. Like I said, a uh, viewer reached out to me and was like, I know you have a hard time with inventory with the three kids at home and sourcing, so can I send you a mystery box? I did pay for the mystery box, full disclosure. I paid $130 uh, and it's 30 pounds of stuff. Uh, she watches my channel and is like, I know the kind of stuff that you like, so I'm gonna send you some stuff. So let's get into it, see what I got. All right, so okay, with this, oh nice! <laughs> so she went through and put out, wrote a list of everything that was included in it, and said. Sarah, thank you so much for buying this inventory for me. I really appreciate it. I love all of your videos and learn a lot from them and really appreciate the time you put into making them. I really hope you like your box and feel like you made a great investment at the end of it. And again, if you are for any reason not 100% satisfied with it, let me know and I will make it right. Have a beautiful day and stay safe. So nice. Love it. All right, let's get into it. So everything came in, um, has trash bags over it to keep it safe. It's in one big box. Some shoes. Ooh, Dansko shoes. I do love Dansko. These look, these look brand new. Um, absolutely, these look brand new. Share the label. That is Dansko. Um, Dansko is a top brand of mine. Um, I appreciate her watching my videos because you're right. She does know what she what I like. Um, so let me show you how I know my top brands. So I do have this Sarah Style Sales and Trends dashboard um, and it has all of my data in it for all of the platforms that I sell on. This drives my business. It's all of my, most of my videos, um, all of the decisions in my business come from data-driven strategies. Anything that I recommend is based off of data-driven strategies. This is available for purchase. So if you want to track and manage your data, you can have these stats available as well. But you can see here for what we're looking at data for one year and Dansko is up there. Let's see. Oh, that's ideology. Where's Dansko? There's Dansko. So you have my sell through rate versus my average sale price. So on average over the past year, Dansko is selling at $33. I will absolutely take that. Um, and 84% that I purchased last year has sold from Dansko. So yes, please. And these look brand new. So I will definitely take that. Look at these cute shoes. How cute are these? Um, these are BP. Um, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that. Yeah, so it's BP is the brown. These are really cute booties. Um, oh, hello. Oh my God, if these are my size, <laughs> I might be keeping these. These are def these are Columbia. Um, and let me tell you, show you again. Columbia is, I know for sure, one of my top brands as well. So Columbia over the past year has sold, that's uh, 89%, 90% of the Columbia that I have purchased has sold at an average sale price of $47. Keep in mind, most of that is uh, jackets and shoes. I don't tend to buy like their lower price stuff just cause I like a higher average sale price, but these will definitely sell if they are my size. <laughs> They are my size. So let me tell you, I wear minimal shoes. Um, I have issues after having babies um, and shoes with too much uh, 
And I wear minimal shoes. So you feel like you're barefoot. And these are one of the minimal type shoes. They're not actually minimal shoes, like made to be minimal shoes. But if you take the insole out there, they have zero grade. And so you feel like you're minimal. And I'm in Colorado. So having a nice pair of winter boots, those are my size. So I'm going to be <laughs> trying those on um, and seeing. I actually was thinking that I needed a new pair of winter boots. Oh my God, how cute are these? These are Sperry. Also look like they're brand new. Um, I will take these. So far, drop notes down below. So far, what do you guys think? Um, I'm digging it. So these are shoes on top and then we have a lots of pants. Um, I do like jeans. Pages up there. These look like maybe a boot cut. Boot cut is coming back in style, size 28. I appreciate, I find that the smaller sizes don't sell as well. I don't sell them through as quickly. These are, if there's anything that you guys want before I actually get it listed, drop a note down below or send me a DM and I'll let you know. Uh, Prana. So Prana, um, it doesn't always sell super high for me. I don't always invest in it. Like I won't pay up for it. If someone donates it to me, I have a friend who wears a lot of it and she'll donate it to me and it always sells the sell through rate. So how much you've purchased, how much, how much, how much you've purchased out of how much you have. My sell through rate for Prana is really high, but the average sale price, um, they don't tend to sell really high. These look like they're brand new. I'm excited. <laughs> this is good. Uh, feel free to send me more. Um, so I don't know how many items, like I said, I paid $130. The hard part of this was um, shipping, right? It's 30 pounds. She's in, I think, Oregon maybe. And so it's hard shipping wise to get this here. Um, but these are brand new, new with tags, cut with cloth. Again, cut with cloth for me as well they're going to sell my sell through rate for cut with cloth is pretty good however um they don't always sell so high so they retail at 89 dollars. these will probably sell higher because they're new with tags let me show you guys the label and the size in case you're interested these are cut with cloth size four they look like they're probably a boot cut um which boot cut is coming back in as is low rise oh like, this booty is not fitting in a low rise. Get it together. Um, I will be sticking with the high rise mom jeans, but I can do it now because I am a mom. A and G, I do appreciate A and G. Um, and so I'm going to tell you, she sent me, it looks like mainly jeans. I think that's what we decided on. Maybe a few sh shoes. Jeans are something that I sell fairly well. However, I don't always find them, right? Because I don't get a thrift a lot. Um, and it's hard to find specific. So this is A and G. Uh, this looks like maybe it's a wide legged. It has a style. The thing I appreciate about jeans is most of them have like, this is, the, oh, this is the hero relaxed fit. They have a style right there. So it makes it easy to list. These are old Navy, but they're new with tags size 12. So old Navy, you know, isn't going to sell super high. New with tags is going to give a little bit of a bump in that price but it's gonna sell um people like their old navy <laughs> as do i as do i these are all packaged really nicely i will say everything's folded really nicely um it doesn't have a smell to it or anything again a and g the fairest skinny crop these will probably go for a little bit higher um just i've noticed a lot of people like a skinny crop right now those are selling better. If you guys sell a lot of jeans, let me know what kind of jeans you look out for as styles. I've definitely noticed brand and style makes a huge difference for jeans. Ann Klein. I actually honestly don't sell a lot of Ann Klein, uh, but these are new with tags, high rise skinny. So I think the style will definitely do well. High rise skinny um, is definitely trending right now. So this is why it was 30 pounds, because it's all jeans and shoes. Citizens of the humanity. Um, these look like they're like a really flared one. They look kind of skinny. Yep, Fleetwood high rise flare. So this style will go well. These are a size 30. I don't know. Those look little for a size 30. Um, but a size 30, I notice, um, is going to sell well the higher numbers do well again an ag the slit roll up oh these are cute they have like a little rolled hem these are cute what size <laughs> what 
reseller problems guys am i right size 29 oh this is reseller problems do not try on your inventory <laughs> you don't know if it fits if you don't try it on um let's see these are current elliot so these retail really high i've noticed that they don't always it's wild to me that a pair of jeans new sell for like $250 and sometimes reselling, they only sell for like $30. Like the difference in that is just wild to me. I'll take the $30, but buying them brand new, these are a size 29. They are, can you guys see? It's like a snake print um, in the denim and they look like they're cropped, a skinny cropped. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think, but I'm going to reach out and see if she, if she has more. I'm not, not hating this Nike dry fit. Um, I love me some Nike. If these are high rise, those look like they're maybe mid rise. Um, love me some Nike. These all are in very good condition. Everything that I have is in very good condition. Cup for cloth, again, like I said, cup for cloth, it's going to sell. Um, these are a raw hem. So she definitely knows the styles, right? She's sending me definitely styles that are in right now. Ankle straight leg, Emma, size 10. Those will sell, I'm kind of excited to list these. I, I think this was a good mystery box. Um, I mean, it, it was helpful that she watches my channel and knows kind of what I like and what sells well for me. Free people, these are skinny and then they have like a rolled hem. Um, those are cute too. These are a size 29 long. So they might be full. If you're not tall, they may, you know, go all the way down to your ankles. If you're tall, they might be cropped. Um, and of course in my listings, once I get these listed, they will all be um, measurements, of course. These are a size 4P, Eileen Fisher. You know, Eileen Fisher is one too that just, it such a, has such a high retail and the resale value of it, and even just trying to move some Eileen Fisher, I find to be hard sometimes. So let me know what you guys think. These are, Oh, these are Prana again, size 28. Um, these look like maybe a skinny or straight leg. Let's see. Oh, a slim fit. Seven for all mankind. Raw hem. Um, so I'm, I mean, I'm happy. After this video, I will be reaching out and seeing if she wants to send me some more stuff. I'll have to look. I'll count at the end of this. I'll count how many came um, so I know what my average sale price is. But something about mystery boxes, I spent no time on this. Like I sent her money and then she sent it to me and I can list it. So paying a little bit more, I don't mind at all because I don't have to go spend time thrifting all of this good stuff. All I have to do is list it. So if you guys like shopping, <laughs> send me a DM. Um, we can work something out not your daughter's jeans. This is a classic ankle. It's like a peachy color. These are all like, honestly, these are all like in really good condition. Uh, we're about two thirds of the way done. So hang with me, cut with cloth. These have a distressed look to them. They look to be, um, yep, I would say a plus size, so size 14. Uh, probably seven more pairs, guys. Hang with me. Let me know what you think down below. Free people, size 29. These are skinny. They don't look high rise. Let me see if they say size 29. Yeah, it doesn't explicitly have the um, style on them. So I might have to look that up. Seven for all mankind, distressed, um, probably straight legs, possibly skinny. It's hard to tell when I'm so close to the camera with you guys. Um, they're called the Roxanne. Oh, I didn't look at the front. I just showed you guys the front, but look, they're 
all distressed. Lucky brand, new with tags. Lolita crop, mid-rise curvy fit. What size is that? Ugh. I might have to try these on. They are, they are distressed. Um, and it looks like an ankle cropped, probably. What did I say? Mid-rise curvy fit, coutured waist. I'm digging it. I am digging it. Free people again, size 29. These are like sturdy jeans. Looks like maybe, I don't know, mid-rise, low-rise. But like I said, the low rise is coming back in. Um, I will not be picking up on that trend because <laughs> um, ain't no one want to see my muffin top. All right, we're down to like four more pairs. Uh, rock reveal, hello. Yes, please. The first time I sold these, um, I had another friend from social media I was like, hey, I watch you. And I know that you're really needing inventory now. I know someone who lives close to you and she has a bunch of stuff she's getting rid of. Uh, do you want it? I was like, sure, let's try this out. And she gave me probably 30 pairs of True Religion, Rock Revival, BKE, um, a ton of jeans. Um, and that was the first time I told them. And I was like, well, this is something I'll be looking out for. I think they all sold um, in the in a week. They sold fast. These are, these look like men's. They say Leo, or maybe they're women's. They're 32L. I don't know. This one is one that I have not heard of. Um, so drop a note down below. Let me know. They kind of have that um, miss me true religion look to them, right? I would have said men's, but I don't know. They look, because of that cut, they look like possibly women's. All right, two pairs left. Let's see, American Eagle. Again, American Eagle is not going to sell super high. It is 360 next level stretch. Um, skinny, not gonna sell super high, but American Eagle, people like the American Eagle. For sure, it will sell. And then this is the last one. And then I will count for you guys how many. This is Paige. Um, that looks like a flared size 27. Yeah, the Canyon flare. So there you have it. Let's count it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, bear with me, <laughs> 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, exactly 30. So let's see, I spent $130 for 30 items, $4.33, yes. Yes, please. <laughs> like, send me more. Um, let me know what you guys think. Would you pay $4.33 for this inventory? Drop notes down below. Let me know what you think.